Hello friends, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. So, I thought I'd come back, I've been playing this game yeah, off and on for, you know, a couple weeks now. Or maybe a couple weeks, I don't know. Some time, some time. And I've gotten upgraded myself to the point where now I'm no longer getting cars that are with just a list of things to fix. Now I've got to actually figure out what's wrong with the car. So I figured that I would actually bring you guys back and, you know, just play a few. I'm not going to obviously go through every single car and repair them all on camera, but I thought that it would be kind of fun just to grab a few things. Now I did uh, upgrade myself a little bit. I got a tablet now. And the tablet basically lets me uh, order supplies from wherever I am, which believe me is very handy. Saves me having to, you know, on the car, on the list over here, find out what's wrong, then run over here and order the part and then run back over and put the part on. So it's much better. Now there are upgrades you can get. So for example, in the toolbox, click this, I've got fast unbolting unlocked because it basically gives me um, a little faster unbolting, literally. 50% uh, chance of repairing, which is kind of nice. Now there's an examination tools. Um, I'm considering, I've got one, I've got one point here, which I can use uh, to upgrade. And I, I really wish it would give you a little more, uh, obviously this is for electronics. This is for the engine for pistons. And this is just a general systems checker. Uh, they'll tell you things like maybe spark and a couple other items. So what I'm going to do, look at the car first and we will see like what things could be tested really easily with those. So uh, compression tester might be good for those deep engine problems with pistons and seals and gears and things. Uh, electronic meter, uh, let's just say various electronic problems. So these two probably are the most important with ODB scanner probably being the most important, I'm going to guess. Um, and then also we've got another upgrade here. Oops, not that door. Path test. So I could spin, spend it and I could take a car on a path test. Path test will let me um, check uh, alignment, wheels, shocks. Uh, I think it also does like the small rubber and the, the rubber uh, bushings, that kind of stuff on the car. So I haven't done that yet. Kind of thinking about that. And then there was one more. So you can exit here and you can go and do some stuff. So I haven't done this yet. So I was thinking maybe this old factory test track. We need a, we need a car to take over there. So I was thinking we actually do that. And this auction center I've not been to either, which you can go buy a car, fix it up and sell it, which is kind of cool. So I'm thinking in this episode, we will do two things. We'll fix a car, take it to the test track and try it out. And we'll also see if we can buy a car. Uh, and there was one other thing I thought we could do parking. We could buy parking for 9,000 experience we need to have first. So we're a ways away from that, which is kind of cool. I like the, I like the way they've done the upgrades in this version. It's a little better than the other. Now they've, the same company as may also put out a uh, farm mechanic simulator and truck mechanic simulator, but they are based off of the 2014 engine which was a little clunkier and not as detailed, which is kind of surprising they put those two games out without using the 2015 engine. But it was a So anyway, I don't know. Well, I don't know if I get those or not. Probably not. Except maybe the truck one. I don't know. All right, so here we have a couple cars here. We've got... Uh, these are getting close to be able to fix that one 4500 and i'm at 4300 so i could probably fix it soon uh, then we've got this malloc which is a whole different style of uh, different shop to order parts from and this bolt hellcat oh that looks kind of cool fix body parts paint it with a factory color i don't have paint stuff <gasps> okay so i'll absolutely take this malloc so let's take this job where is the paint? Is the paint shop here? I need 5,000 experience points. So, okay, again, pretty close on that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's take this car over to the test track and drive it around and see if we can spot what's wrong with this car. Um, now, you, get, you do get to detect something like brakes, acceleration, 
um, steering, you might find out if like sway bars. Oh, this is just gorgeous. So we can, this gives us the four things we can do here. So the first one is acceleration and wow, <laughs> this is floored. This is amazing, amazing. Okay, now the slalom. Oh, this thing sucks. I'm assuming you go around here. Ah, this car does not handle well. Which I guess is the point. Let's not give it any unnecessary uh, body work. And this is the suspension test. Whoa, jeez. Oh, and then braking. Oh, you can hear that engine. <laughs> All right, so that gives us some basic you know, diagnostic information that you know a skilled mechanic like myself can quickly diagnose. It sounds, it makes it sound like a plink, plink, brick, 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 brick. Uh, that's your pharyngeal nerve. All right, so, oh wow, this actually gives us a lot of information. So, inner tie rods and drive axle joint, both hosed. Everything else, not in terrible shape. So, that's good. So, again, we can look at the car and take a look at the repair order. So, a couple things. So, sloppy car steering, finding. In, any running gear problem. So running gear was not diagnosed with that test. All right, so we need to repair with parts exceeding 58%. All right, so, wow, a lot more parts need to be looked at. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing up on a lift. And I just happened, I prefer the, I could probably pick this car up myself. Okay, I prefer the right one. I don't know why, but I do. All right, so the Malik is a little different. Um, everything about it is different. So let's go ahead and pull off the tires. They only have four bolts. Now, I don't know if anyone you know watching this video is from Europe, but uh, tell me about this vehicle, because wow, it's a tiny little thing. How common is it? Ooh, that that front steering knuckle is not looking like a good good bit there all right so we gotta take off the, the brake shoes first okay that okay so we gotta take off what do we gotta take off first here okay so it's like the outer tie rod okay Ooh, this that Steering rack looks pretty bad as well. You generally the rust shape will tell us what shape the vehicle is actually in. So this inner tie rod is at 27%, so that needs to be replaced. These flexible clamps also look like they're in bad shape. What's that? 28%? Yeah. Man, the whole front end on this on this car is not in good shape. Now, the Malik is definitely put together a lot differently, a lot more differently than the um, front. Okay, what do I need to take off first? Front shock observer. Sometimes the camera angles are just a little funky. Whoops. Okay, and then we need this. All right, what's... That butt bushing's out. That bushing's out. Okay. This car is put together really oddly. Okay, so this needs to come off. I'm taking this car mostly apart. Um, what what is next? The leaf string itself?
sold to take the whole other tire off. Okay, that bushing's good. Okay, now we can finally get this bearing out. And now the front wheel. Okay. Alright, that needs to be replaced. So that's the only part. Actually, it might. Can we examine it? Yeah, we can. Okay, that needs to come off as well. Wow, there's not much left in this car. On that side, at least. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, let's pull this tire off. This repair might take longer than I thought it was going to. Cap. Brake drum. Shoes are good. Cylinder's good. Okay. Uh, tie rod, okay. That tie rod is good. And that steering rack is bad. Okay, wow. Ooh, this shock absorber looks pretty bad too. Two percent. Holy moly, there is nothing left on the front of this car. All right, so now what I do, I go into my inventory. I kind of have a little process here. Uh, so I need an inner tie rod. Yep, just the one inner tie rod from Malik. So I, I know this is going to be a little tedious, but this is the only way I can do this and not for frick it up. So a separate part shop from the regular part shop. They have fewer parts because they're like made out of Tinker Toys or something. Um, so inner tie rod. Five bucks. I'll take that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Alright, so then what I do is I get rid of the old one. Some of these I probably could try repairing. But uh, flexible clamp. I need two flexible clamps. This is why that uh, uh, get the tablet was so handy for me. Two flexible clamps. Okay, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Okay, uh, front knuckle pin. A front knuckle pin. that F okay front steering knuckle and a front rubber buffer front rubber knuckle and a front steering knuckle okay and a, the steering rack and a front shock absorber. Front shock absorber. The steering rack I know on one car is like 800 bucks on the regular car, so. Uh, front steering rack, 300 bucks. So it's not as expensive. Yeah, the regular cars, regular car shop, it's 800 bucks for a steering rack. So I'm like, I always double check it. I'm like, are you really, really, really? I don't want to mess this up. All right. So front shock absorber, you out of here. And the steering rack, you out of here as well. Now I could, just to, just to show you guys this, this is the repair area. And you can tell sometimes that these games, this is designed for more of a tablet experience. I'm just going to swipe it back and forth. Um, so this game has definitely had tablet in mind when it was originally conceived. A steering rack. Okay. Yep, we can't repair it. All right. Let's reassemble this thing. No, disassemble number five. No, disassemble. 
All right. At this point, so many times, sometimes I'm putting this card effect together, and I'm like, you know, because a couple parts that are like three dollar parts, and they're like, you know, just a slightly under what the you know minimum level is for the car repair, and I'm like, really? If I was a mechanic at a shop, I would probably go to the person and say, hey, you know, I'm in here. This gonna cost you another, you know, thirty bucks if I replace these parts, but you're gonna get, you know, another two years of life out of the car. Um, but I guess that's what mechanics, I mean, that's kind of what you expect to have happen when you go to a mechanic shop. You expect them to kind of be like, oh yeah, and you need the, the do the doohickey franger replaced as well. And you're like, uh, really? Do I really need that? And you always, you always kind of question, are you getting ripped off by the mechanic? Which is a sad state of affairs, I guess. All right. Yeah, I found a lot of parts we replaced there, so... Whoops! Uh, where am I at? There we are. Back to symbol mode. I feel like I missed something on the other side. That we... Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but it felt like we... I guess what to see. Hmm. Parts on. That big camera angle there is a little. I feel like I could have, you know, always moved these around, but it's definitely much better. Like I said, it's much better than 2014. All right, now we can look in our. I should before I put the tires back on. I should look at the repair order. Okay, uh, so we got sloppy car steering taken care of. Um, drive axle. So we have a few points left, which I'm assuming is going to be in the back of the vehicle for the running gear issues. So that's most of everything. What the fuel tank is not in good shape. Wow, that's so the engines. So yeah, the engines back here, Bob. Who put the engine back here? That's cool. Um, now where? Let's see if we can look at. Okay, so that looks bad. These are things that you know basically get told to us by the uh, by this by this, that test we did. So I don't see anything else bad other than that. So let's start on this tire here. So let's go back to disassemble. Like I said, I don't really want these videos to be super long, so I probably won't be able to get that second repair in like I thought I was going to. Okay, why can't I take you off? I take you off first, which means I gotta take rear drive axle. Ah, oh, that's that rear drive axle joint. Okay, I haven't run into one of these before. These Malaks, I've only had two of them so far, and the other two are pretty easy. Okay, so that's that drive axle joint. These all look pretty good as far as condition goes. Now this fuel tank does not look good. And so much of the engine does not look good. 
But uh, I don't know. Hmm. The shocks don't look good either, but. All right, can I take anything else? There we go. How is the shock? 64%. Okay, that's fine. So let's put it back. Ring buffer socket to hickey bobber. Ah, so ring, rubber ring buffer. Okay, let's go ahead and pick, oops, let's go ahead and pick this up. Rubber ring buffer. It's only the one. Oh, wait, buffers. Is it buffer socket or buffer? Oops. Inventory. So that was a rubber ring buffer. Rubber ring buffer. Okay. Oh, rear rubber buffer also. Rear rubber buffer. Yeah, okay, should be the last of the parts that we need to discover, I think. Yep. So drive axle joint. Let's get that. The drive axle joint. There we go. Back to assembles. Pop this back on over here. Okay, so let's put the good one on. Let's put you on. Drive axle back in. Here we go. Okay, so we got our inventory. I was like to do this last. Come on. These are parts from another order I've been hauling around with myself. So there's that drive axle joint. Yes, th this, yes, and this, yes. Um, I wish you had like a stock you could put away, not have to actually give me inventory. Um, I accidentally bought these parts in another order, and uh, that was a bad thing. All right, let's look at our orders. All clear, perfect. 1300 bucks for this job. Pretty darn nice. We could take it for one more test drive just to see how it handles now. Let's see how how this baby handles with its massive engine. No, not really. <laughs> Get the track ready. Come on. Yeah, the track. Look at that amazing acceleration. That steering is actually, that's the cool thing about this game. It actually does have different, now is there different cameras? Yeah, there is different cameras. Whee! Oopsie. Might need a little body work in your car now. But, you know. We won't say anything. I'm sure that dent was there when they brought it in the shop. Yeah, pretty sure that dent was there. Totally there. Scratch on the paint job. Yeah, that was... 
that was there. Rockin' and rollin'. Ah, oh, it's, it's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. I would buy three or four of them and put them back in my car as, you know, life pods. <laughs> Reminds me, back in high school, I drove a 1974 Ford LTD. It was, I had the honor of having the longest, the longest car in school. It was a great honor to have. Downhill with a tailwind that could get to maybe Maybe 60 miles an hour. It was awesome. Let's finish this job out. And let's go just take a look at the uh, auction center just to see what it's like. Uh, I need to buy a parking to store a garage. Okay, well, that I guess that answers that question. Because this needed we needed to be 9,000 experience. So we're a ways away from that. Anyway, uh, like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys back. Do a couple of these. Uh, and we will, I'll do some more. I mean, again, it's not going to be a full series, like, you know, not like a video every day of car mechanics simulating, but, uh, every few levels I'll come back. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and upgrade while you guys are here. Let's upgrade and go ahead and buy that OBD scanner. Yes, please. So I need about our 473 experience points. So we can get our next upgrade which will probably be probably the compression tester i think next so anyway for now it's been wrong with the wrong with the mechanic wishing you guys a happy day if you like it click that like button comment subscribe tell your friends family and your grandma mechanic and we'll be back for another greasy day